Connie Slocum started out as the number one pageant girl in Louisiana, but she always knew that she was meant for something more. She was going to get to Hollywood any way she could. It wasn't always easy, but nothing was going to stop her from achieving her dreams. With her trademark mix of desperation, determination, and dumb luck, she had finally made those dreams a reality. In this series, we'll hear the Love Connie story in her own words. This episode of Connie Wood is brought to you by Kissin' Cousins and Dewey Sausage. Kissin' Cousins. Our secret is tongue. And by Lower Delta Adult Diapers. It happens. Don't let it hold you back. Lower Delta Adult Diapers. When your Mississippi floods its gates, we'll catch your spill. Would you do anything to make it in Hollywood? She would. Eat your mother Hi, are you an agent? Hollywood! Where's my champagne? Okay, we're rolling. I know you have a tight schedule, so... Oh, you do know? Because I do have very little time. Just let me know when you're ready to start. Can we just be positive? I've had a lot of negativity in my life. I mean, I look good, I look good. I got ready, I did my hair, I hired the people, I paid them, I look good. You look good, you look good. Thank you. Ready? Honey, I'm ready. Why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? I love butterflies, I even love moths. J-Lo, obviously. Um, oh, and Jamie Lee Curtis, oh my God, what a survivor. I mean, Michael Myers, you know what I mean? That, it reminds me, we have a lot in common. How did you get your start? I started out in beauty pageants, and honey, not them little beauty pageants like Miss America and Miss USA. I mean the pageants that girls will kill you to win, or hire someone to kill you. Keep it down. Sorry. What were some of those pageants? Miss Waxahachie, Miss Royal Okra, Miss Blanchard Poke Salad, Miss Stock Show, but Miss Cajun Inbred? That was my title, honey. Slayed that competition. I'll never forget that night. So is that what propelled you to come to Hollywood? I mean, that's obvious. <laughs> I mean, look, winning that title, it got me the confidence I needed to get the hell out of Louisiana. <laughs> Honey, I hitchhiked all the way from Louisiana to California. You can't imagine the things I had to do. What was the hardest part? Oh, God. When I got stuck in dime box. I was out of money, just wandering back and forth for hours, hoping somebody would recognize me. I hadn't eaten since I arrived, and boy, was I thirsty. So I stopped by this diner, and I saw that they were having leg wrestling contest, and the winner got $50. And honey, I know how to leg wrestle. I mean, I grew up with six older brothers. So I was like, bring it on, bitch. I guess what I didn't plan for was she didn't have a real leg. It was fake. One of them prosthesis things. She got me pinned down, had me so twisted, cut and bruised up that I thought she was gonna break my leg. So I tapped out. Makeup, I'm really crying now. I don't want to mess my makeup up. Can someone please come and dry my eyes, please? But it's okay. I got her back. Oh, I got her back. Yeah, I did. 
<laughs> I took that prosthetic leg and I sold it. $200 for it. <laughs> <laughs> so not only did I have enough money to buy a bus ticket to Hollywood, I also had a little left over and bought a couple new little frocks. <laughs> What was your first thought when you finally arrived in Hollywood? Where is the bathroom? I have got to pee so bad. I mean, about Hollywood. Oh. <laughs> I just loved it. It just always seemed the place for me, the place for special people, people with real talent. Ah, step your step pussy your up. up. Feeling like a woman. Looking like a woman. Feeling like a woman. Looking like a woman. Feeling like a woman. Looking like a woman. I had never seen so many stars in my life. There were stars in the sky. Feeling like a woman. There were stars on the sides of buildings. There were stars on the sidewalks. Looking like a woman. I didn't even know half these people, so I thought, I want a star. How do I get me a star on the Hollywood Boulevard? I mean, who are all these people? It can't be that hard. I just needed a sign. Is this how you get a star on the Walk of Fame? Yes. Okay, well, all right. Any sign. And then I found one. Work those hips. Around and around, back around. Wow, this is fun. I like this move best. Let's breathe in. I smell ass. If you got anything in there, push it on out. Ooh, oh. I call it Connie Confidence, or Confidence for short. It's about getting people to do what you want. Can I let you in on a little secret? People are everywhere. We're surrounded by them right now. I came to Hollywood. I got a star. Maybe it's in an alley, but it's still a star. And people walk all over me all day long. I'm getting what I want in Hollywood. And I ain't letting go of it. I'm gonna keep on. I'm gonna hold on like a pit bull with a chihuahua. I ain't letting go till it's dead. 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 And when all else fails, there's my Connie kicks. Why are they called Connie kicks? I just love to kick. Oh, and by the way, if anybody's out there wants me to be a spokesperson for that yogurt that makes you I'm available. Just call this number right here. Y'all got that number up? We'll add that in post. My agent's number? Are you going to put the number up? Coming up this season on Connywood... <laughs> Hello? It's me, Connie Slocum, the model you sent for. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Looking like a woman. <laughs> Connie Wood!